I know that my favourite, uh, most cerebral, most searching, articulate theatre critic, who's a man called Andrew Hayden, wrote a rave review about the show. I know also that my 12-year-old son, who'd never been to see a straight play in his life before that wasn't a pantomime or a musical, loved the show. I know that my gran is going to love the show. I know collaborators and artists and playwrights who've been to see it who love it. You know, it's a pat thing to say it appeals to everybody, but I think it's a great night in the theatre, and I think that appeals to an awful lot of people. My nine-year-old son thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, not thoroughly enjoyed it, he was fascinated by it. it and, and he's a nine-year-old boy, and he's not... Don't tell him I said this. He's not the world's most intellectual nine-year-old boy. He likes fighting with sticks and playing football. It's really hard to, to glue his ass down to a seat. But through the whole thing, two halves of the show, he was, he was completely riveted. And everywhere I go, keep, I keep bumping into unexpected people who've been to see it. Um, a guy came round to the house the other day to uh, fix the drain pipes on the back of our house. Really nice guy. And he said, oh, I've just seen you play. It was fantastic. <laughs> I think... I hope the same thing applies as what applies to books, is that a success isn't everyone going away having had the same experience and agreeing about it. It's people, everyone having a good or interesting or moving or edifying experience and then going away and realising that the person who sat next to them has had a great experience but it's been different. Mm. And that you can go on disagreeing about that for a long time. I think, I, I think well I think, um, I think that's brilliant and I hope that's right. I also think the, you know, what's interesting about the story is the story has uh, worked in Mexico City, it's worked in Tel Aviv, it's been a smash hit in those cities, it's been a smash hit in Tokyo, it's been a big hit in Copenhagen, it's been a huge hit all over Germany. And you kind of look at it and go, well, it's, a, it's a story about a, uh, a boiler engineer, a heating engineer in Swindon and his son. How can that communicate in Tokyo? How, can it, how will that possibly communicate in New York? And I think it does because I think it's about family. I think it's about bravery. I think it's about uh, uh, the difficulties and the possibilities of marriage. I think it's about the difficulties and possibilities of raising children or having parents. I think it's about having a favorite teacher and I think it's about learning. And I don't think those things are geographically specific. I think an American audience, a New York audience, understands those things, understands what it is to be brave.